Hey, what's up guys? So, we just got back from prelims, our prelim session, um, and I ended up swimming in the relay, which was actually, I, my split I think went really well. Um, I was a 21-4, so I remember from previous World Cups I was splitting like 21-9s, 22-0s, so I was pretty happy with my split. Um, um, but sadly, we didn't, and we ended up not making the finals, um, which is a bummer. But then again, you know, you have races like that where um, some things go wrong, and it's it's all good. It's something we can learn from, just like my two IM was the first day. Um, but um, so one thing I want to share with you guys in this video, um, if you noticed in previous videos, I showed you what I do before a race, how I get prepared, um, things like that. And here, I wanted to show you guys what I do to recover. Um, so I, I genuinely think recovery is the biggest thing when it comes to competing. Um, and that's the same with how we train. Um, a lot of our training is focused on how I'm recovering and being rested and getting ready for the next one. Um, so to start with, obviously, I mean, you hear this a lot, stay very hydrated. Um, this is something I don't do the best, but I've been working on. Um, and then when I get back to the hotel room, I usually take a P2 Life and then I take these pills. Um, now a lot of these pills, I mean, it all kind of, like my mom's always been really huge on taking these supplements and what I need to do with it. And I don't genuinely know what every single one of these does for me. Um, but what I do know is that kind of collectively the idea is when I put my body through a lot of stress um, to race and compete, um, I use a lot of different things. I guess resources and so my idea in taking these things and my P2 Life shakes and protein and all that is to recover and to get stronger and to be able to handle the next race. So you guys, once I've taken those pills and everything, um, the next thing I do, or sometimes what I do at the meet actually, is I roll out. Um, so this is a hypersphere. Um, I, it's made by Hyperice. And so this ball, it kind of, let's see, it, it turns on and it then vibrates. And there's like three different settings. And so it's just kind of a deep tissue massage kind of that I do on my own, um, which I really enjoy. Um, and something that I've done for a while. Um, this is pretty expensive. So a lot of people, um, the best way to do it is to get a old lacrosse ball or even a tennis ball. Um, you get different balls for however tight you want to roll out. Um, I also have a foam roller that I use, which is really handy. Um, so yeah, rolling out um, and also massages, which are awesome. Like, thank goodness to USA Swimming because they've got a whole team of masseuse here um, where we're able to get massages at the pool, um, which is really awesome. So then once I'm done rolling out, the last little thing I'll do is katsu. So katsu, it's this little device. Um, what it does is it's basically blood flow restriction, um, but it's controlled and it's, um, it's kind of like how we train. Everything's scientifically based and studied. Um, and it's a Japanese software. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you guys how we go through it. I put on these straps, um, and so I, I go around my legs, and I can do straps on my arms as well, but only separately. I make this relatively tight to where it's you know tough to put two fingers in between the strap and my leg. And the idea is the box or the the control panel here, which is connected through these tubes will inflate the leg straps and it basically tells the body that your muscles are in pain they need to be recovered as if we're kind of working out at least this is how I understand it 
And so then your body will send extra testosterone and growth hormones to grow and repair the broken muscle. Um, although, what's nice is it's actually not being broken. So the idea is that katsu with the restriction is tricking your brain into repairing your muscles that aren't broken so you're getting extra recovery in, in, in a sense. Um, now there's obviously way better ways to explain that. Um, this is really just the how I understand it and what I see from it. But this stuff is incredible. So this is what it's doing now. So I'm going through these cycles. Um, and the SKU is basically how tight the band is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and it'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight cycles. And each time it gets tighter and tighter. And then what I do is I do about three, three rounds of this on the legs and three rounds in the arms. And what you'll notice is the veins will pop out a lot because obviously it's cutting off a bit of the blood flow. Um, and so your veins will fill up like that. But the moment you take those bands off, everything goes back. And something I do like during is I'll check my capillary refill. And so that's basically how quick the blood um, refills into the capillaries, I guess, um, which makes sense. Um, so it's just telling me that I'm not, um, it's not too tight, it's not too restrictive, um, and it's, it's not um, actually gonna damage me, you know? Um, because there, there has been a little question on like, people getting blood clots and stuff like that where, but that's more from a standing where people will take tire tubes or a string or something and tie it really tight. They'll work out to get that extra pump and then um, your blood flow is actually being stopped. What this does is it inflates and it releases, allowing for the blood to continue flowing freely. So there's no actual, there's no possible, no possibility for it to actually clot and harm you and you know cause issues. Um, so this is really, this is like a lifesaver. This is something I love using. Um, at first, it's a bit uncomfortable, but you really get used to it. Um, and there's also something else we can do with outside of recovery in training where we'll put the bands on and then we have it set to like its max restriction and we'll put them on and then we'll do a little workout like maybe some squats or some lifts or just just like crunching just like um lifting no weight at all and your body will immediately get the effect um and automatically start recovering because you're being tricked into extra pain that you're actually not really going through um which is really crazy so yeah that's Katsu. Once I've done all that, the taking the pills, had my shake, rolled out, katsu. It's time for a nap. It's been a pretty chill day. Um, 4x50 was fun this morning. Um, got to relax, got to warm up at the warm up pool and film a little bit of Mike doing the stretch cord, which I've yet to try. <laughs> Probably won't. Um, but I've got the 100 IM tomorrow and I'm super excited for that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.